photos and tapes of the apostles 13 years ago, 15 years ago, strong, teaching this world and prophesizing the downfall of these Jakes and Esau, you know, which is the goddamn white man and his wickedness, you know. So um, this is proof that the apostles of JMS are true soldiers of this faith of ours and this thing of ours. Paul said, I have fought the good fight, okay? And that's the job of a soldier, to fight. Fight for who? For Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? And Lord willing, that's what we're going to be doing in these times to come if we're the hopeful elect. is someone that no matter what happens to him he forges on and um, doesn't let anything get in his way no matter what it may be he has a mission and in that mission he has to make sure that he completes that mission to the best of his ability now if you want to get examples of soldiers well, one only needs to look at Yahweh Shai first and foremost, and pretty much he soldiered up and did what he had to do, no matter what. And there was no one that was going to stand in his way of accomplishing the mission that the Heavenly Father sent him on. Because that's what a soldier does, you know. He looks in the, at the battlefield, he chooses his strategy, and he goes and executes that strategy on the battlefield. And no matter how solitary that, that uh, mission might be, he still forges on even if he has to do the job himself. Like the Apostle Paul spoke and he said, at my first call, no man stood with me but I stood by myself, but the Lord was with me, you know? So although at one point Paul was all alone by himself as a soldier, he still had the mission in mind. He still had that strategy in mind. And he knew that no matter what, nothing was gonna be able to divert him from the truth. That's why he said, you know, nothing would, would stand in his way. You know, no, no, nobody could conquer his spirit and nobody can deter him from his mission as a soldier. Apostle of Ramlap only have strings of gray hair. Ayatun has hair. These are showing, this showing diligence. Then you have, then you have the Apostle Tahar with no gray hair in his hair or in his beard. This shows diligence in being the true soldier of this faithful and this thing about us, you know? And um, it's all about, you know, being a soldier and, um, and enduring the hardship and, um, you know, not making haste from time to trouble and that's, you know, going through, man, going through this journey of being the true soldier of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, even though you have ailments, even though you may be sick, you know, you know, but things like that, you know, build you up. Being in this truth, man, you gotta know the ups and downs of being in this truth. Sometimes you got some something you have and something you low. Sometimes the most I give you stuff, sometimes the most I make you struggle, man. That's being a soul in the truth, man. Knowing the highs and the low, man. If you come in this truth, you gotta learn about being high and low, man. Part of being in the truth is living the life of secrecy. You know, I was shot and stuff and said, what? You're not your left hand know what your right hand is doing. I mean, even though it's closer to you, I'm going to know what you're really into, you know? Because the scriptures also say, don't make that war if you take it with the bed of his life. As a matter of fact, in the book of James, it says what? Mourn and weep. Let your laughter be, let your, um, mourning be turned into laughter. That's what happened in the kingdom. Right now, we're mourning. We're living like the secret, the secrecy in public, but while we're around one another, those secrets are made public because we are our true selves. But there is a man, you know, probably the most high you have by our
So, hey, brothers, that's what a soldier's job is, okay? All right? It says a man that wharf. Now, the word wharf means what? To fight. And we're warnings in this damn society, this wicked place called America, the sinful kingdom. So, Lord willing, we continue in it. First off, you know, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Uh, and to all the brothers out there doing the work, you know? As far as being a soldier, you know, the definition of the word soldier is solitary. You know? Like in prison, you go to prison, you might get in trouble, and they throw you in what's known as solitary confinement. You're in there by yourself. So even though we got the brotherhood, really it's like just you and your you and the Lord, man. You know? That's really what it is. Working out your own soul salvation. And I'm gonna bring out a scripture real quick. This is uh Revelation 1 and 9. I John who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Yahweh Shai the anointed was in the isle called Patmos for the word of the Most High and for the testimony of Yahweh Shai you see so he was alienated uh, he was in solitary confinement so to speak you know for the word of Yahweh Shai which is really how all of us brothers are you know it's true in these days you know so the point is in this truth you have to have that same mentality of a soldier on a mission to do, act, and finish the work that the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gave us to do. And the only way you can do that is first and foremost if the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is with you and you're part of the elect and by getting into your mind that this is the, the mission at hand and I have to finish it you know and I have to do what the Lord told me to do because the Lord gave me a post to deal with and I have to deal with that post and I have to finish that post or finish that course because that's what was given uh, me to do that's what a soldier does, you know. Whatever situation he's faced with, he's not deterred from his mission. And that mission for us that are in the truth is to teach the word and finish the word and follow the Lamb with us wherever he goeth until our mission as a soldier is finished. We are soldiers.